Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, I am wanting to show you guys how to update your Ironfish CLI wallet into the new GUI wallet node app. Apparently it's now available and has been for a while. I just wanted to make this video because someone asked me, Red Panda, is there a Windows GUI wallet where you don't have to type in the commands like we did with the CLI wallet, which uh, some people do enjoy and most people don't enjoy. They, they would like to have a interface in order to get your receiving address, sending your Ironfish, and so they have it for Windows and Mac. So you no longer have to do it this way by typing in the commands such as this to you know, maybe look at your balance and such. As you can see here, I currently have 55.2 Ironfish and I'll show you guys my Hive OS rig uh, after this demonstration on how to install the Node app. So let's go ahead. We're gonna download it here, the Windows version. And uh, just to let you all know, I am actually running this on a hypervisor uh, using a simple, you know, desktop computer as a virtual machine. Okay, my Ironfish wallet is running on a virtual machine and I highly recommend a lot of people do the same just to have it separated from your main computer or device that you're using as your daily driver. You don't want it to be compromised in any way. I'm not saying Ironfish is a bad actor or anything, but you never know, especially with any other wallets out there, any other projects, you just wanna be safe running it on a separate virtual machine or just any device that you are not using daily. Okay, but going along, okay, let's, uh, we just downloaded it here. We're gonna uh, just open it up here in the downloads folder. So we're gonna double click on the Ironfish node app setup and actually before we do that we should probably close the node and the powershell that i had up here for running the wallet for ironfish okay so that's closed now let's go ahead and run the setup double click on it and looks like it's popping up here Ooh, that's pretty cool and oh there we go i <laughs> That's it. That's all we had to do. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> didn't have to import. Didn't have to, you know, get new seed phrases, new seed keys or anything like that. It just automatically, as you can see here, have my, this has my iron fish in here. All right. So this is what I had in the CLI. Now there's a nice, beautiful GUI wallet here. All right. You guys can see address book and looks like the node is probably, oh, it says connected. All right. So that's that's great. Looks like it ported over just everything that was already running on the CLI wallet and the node as well. And now it's going through the uh, Ironfish node app GUI here. So this is really cool, really nice. Wow, that was extremely easy. So you guys know what to do now, okay? So for anyone that has this, simply make sure your Ironfish node is off and uh, the, the, just the PowerShell is off or CMD command line, anything CLI off, double click on the install and that's it, all right, that, that's, that's, that's it. And it should make a uh, Ironfish node app desktop icon for you as well, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Very easy, very easy, but just some quick things. Why not, let's just go through, I don't know, import an account, okay? So maybe you were not successful in you know importing your account or maybe it didn't work. Well, then we can do it this way through the mnemonic phrase or a file or the encoded key, all right? So this is something that you could export uh, from the CLI wallet and and actually I just opened up the PowerShell again Ironfish uh, Wallet just to see the commands which you could export. Okay export an account I'm not gonna show you guys here, but uh, yeah, you just have to type in Ironfish wallet and then colon export and I'm sure that would be the I guess the encoded key uh, which you would paste into here Okay to import that account or you can do it the mnemonic phrase. So just you know simply type in your seed phrase like that, right? Okay, so let's close that. Very easy, guys. Send, receive, your receiving address, send. That's it, and looks like there's a dark mode as well. I love that. That's really cool. Looks like they have an updates tab here. We're in version 1.00, so hopefully there's gonna be some updates in the future if there's any issues, but so far it looks to be pretty cool. Okay, so link down below for you guys to download this if you would like to update your Ironfish to the Ironfish node app. All right, now onto the portion of the video. I said I would show you guys my uh, Hive OS rig. I have one rig right now mining to Ironfish right now. I have an eight x Radeon RX 6700 XT rig 
uh, mining iron fish right now. I'm utilizing Team Red Miner. And uh, this rig's been up for almost 14 days straight. Pretty good. But getting about 7.8 giga hash at around, I would say, 55, 60 watts. The reporting for AMD is a little bit different. But uh, the whole rig itself is, uh, this is an Octo Miner. So total at the power at the wall is 505 watts. So that's pretty cool. So total, I have 63 giga hash on Ironfish right now. Is it profitable for my 6700 XT rig right now to be mining Ironfish? Not really, probably not. The reason why I'm mining it with one rig right now is just I'm accumulating it in hopes of future price appreciation in the future or in the bull run, uh, what have you. But we could simply do a simple, you know, hash rate.no calculation dot here uh, just to see what how profitability is for this rig. Uh, just to show you, I could be mining something else. So at my power cost uh, right now, where it is, it's at nine cents. I'm gonna hit calculate. And it looks like my 6700 XT rig should be profitable at my the Sky Doge, <laughs> Paprika Coin, or Novo, Conceal, Narai. Uh, it looks like it's profitable in Dynex, Chlor, Pepe Pau, Alethium, Radiant, and then uh, Ironfish is near the bottom here or middle, and it's not profitable for me to be mining <laughs> with this. Uh, with this rig. So I'm just breaking even actually profit is four cents Okay, so my cost basis here mining pretty much 1.13 iron a day with this rig generally Okay, I didn't put in my exact hash rate and power consumption numbers, but this is what uh, I am getting and I'm okay with that I'm okay to be mining uh, out of pocket with this rig and just simply waiting for the price appreciation of coins that I am holding right now with this Okay all right, guys, that's it for this video. Very simple one. And let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know if you have updated to the latest Ironfish node uh, wallet GUI. I guess the node app here. Very simple. You guys saw extremely easy to uh, get it up and going, especially if you already have the Ironfish CLI uh, already downloaded and running on your machine or VM, which hopefully, again, like I said, Hopefully you guys are doing this because it essentially creates a separation between your daily driver, like the computer you use for, let's say, your, your full-time job, remote work, you know, you're browsing the internet, you're going to different websites, bad places, and, you know, maybe you click on a link and it downloads some malware and you have your node up and stuff and, you know, it can compromise your wallet in some way. It's always good to have it separated on at least a different device that you are not using for daily stuff all right like I, i'm showing you guys here this is just on a brand new windows 11 install i got nothing else in here except for the ironfish node and uh, maybe a couple other wallets as well that i know that are okay but just due diligence keep it all separated as best you can in order to be uh, safeguarded from any compromises in, in any way like malware trojans what have you key loggers and all that kind of stuff that you could potentially get on your main computer that you use every day. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.